going to show you how to do Kitchener stitch and it's also called grafting and you would use this when you want to weave together two sets of live stitches like at the end of a toe when you get done uh, making a sock and what I did here was I just uh, changed my yarn color here just so you could see the stitches going in and out a little more easily so um, you don't need to change your yarn color to do this so there's a couple of requirements before you start. Um, the first one is that you want to make sure you have two sets of live stitches and that just means that the stitches that you're using have not been bound off yet. And then the other requirement is that you have the same number of stitches on both needles. And I will caution you to practice this before you actually do it on your actual garment because it does take a little bit of practice to get this right. It's not hard to do, but it, it can be really confusing. So, you know, when you sit down to do it, put your kids and your pets and your spouse and whatever else outside and sit down with some good lighting and your instructions and quite possibly a glass of wine <laughs> and you'll be ready to go. All right, so to start off, like I said, make sure you have the same number of stitches on both needles and you want to keep your yarn attached to your work and you want your yarn to be attached to the back needle and like I said I just changed this color just so it would be a little easier for you to see and then you want to thread your end onto a tapestry needle and to start there's a couple of steps you do before you actually start your grafting sequence and the first thing you want to do is take your tapestry needle and go into the first stitch on your front needle as if you're going to purl and pull your yarn through like that and then on your back needle you're going to go to your back needle and go into that first stitch as if you're going to knit and all this is doing is getting us set up for crafting don't want to go through your yarn there and then also when you're pulling your stitches make sure that your yarn isn't going over your top needle like that you want it to stay underneath and then just snug it up a little bit and now you're ready to start your actual grafting series so your first step is to go into your first stitch on your front needle as if you're going to knit and then when you get that pulled through you're going to let that stitch fall off your needle Then you're going to go to the second stitch, also on your front needle. You're going to go through that stitch as if you're going to purl. And this time you're going to leave that stitch on the needle. Then you go to your back needle and you go into that first stitch as if you're going to purl. And then you're going to go ahead and let that stitch fall off the needle. Then you'll go to your next stitch again on your back needle and you're going to go into that stitch as if you're going to knit. And then snug that up. Okay, and leave it on the needle. And that is your first set of grafting stitches. So now you're ready to start your second set. You're just going to do the same series again. And do your first stitch as if you're going to knit. And let that stitch fall off and you go to your second stitch on that same needle and you're going to go into that one as if you're going to purl leave it on the needle and you go to your back needle and you're going to go into that stitch as if you're going to purl and then you're going to let that one fall off and you're going to go into your next stitch in the back as if you're going to knit and leave it on the needle. Okay, and give it a little tug and that's going to be your second set. So then you're ready to start your series again. Into the front one as if you're going to knit. Got a lot of ends in here just because I changed my yarn. Okay, and you're going to let that one fall off the needle and you're going to go to your second stitch on your first needle as if you're going to purl and leave it on the needle this time 
then you're going to go back to your back needle, go into that one as if you're going to purl. Let that one fall off the needle. And then again, in as if you're going to knit on that back needle. And leave it on. Okay, so that's your next set. So you're ready to start the series again. Go into the front needle as if you're going to knit. Let it come off the needle. Go into your next stitch on your front needle as if you're going to purl. Leave it on the needle. Next stitch in the back as if you're going to purl. Let it fall off the needle. And then into your next stitch on the back as if you're going to knit. Leave it on the needle. Okay, and you just keep doing the same series. Into the front, as if you're going to knit. Let it fall off. Into the next one, as if you're going to purl. Okay, and then to the back, next one is if you're going to purl, I'm just trying to keep this looking kind of neat so that you can see how it looks when we're done here, and you let that stitch fall off, then into the next one as if you're going to knit. Okay, then you're going back to your first needle, and as if you're going to knit, and you let it fall off, and then you go to your last stitch, and go in as if you're going to purl, and let that one fall off. And that's just keep doing it till you're done. And then I wanted to get done just so I could show you what it looks like, and using this different color yarn, it makes it a little bit easier so you can see how all those stitches are grafted together. And what you may need to do um, is go through and tighten up your stitches a little bit. If they're a little bit loose, just use your tapestry needle and tighten them up all the way across. And I mean, obviously you can tell where I've done it just because I did it in a different color of yarn. But um, once you get all these pulled together, you won't even be able to tell that there's any stitches there. They'll just look like it's just all knitted together. And that's all there is to Kitchener Stitch.